We do immediately delete it. Someone sends immoral contents when WhatsApp grows where they share immoral contents. What are you waiting there? Get out of the group. Effective immediately. If you tolerate it once, you're in trouble. Some of you belong to groups right now, as I speak, that make a whole lot of mockery of God. They keep comparing Africa with Europe, with America, the church, and all. Have you ever seen those groups online? Beware, because they are literally attacking you. What would you do? Suppose God was slapped in the face, and you see. What would you do? Would you be very happy? Will you stand the ground to watch it again? Beware. 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 This is what social media recklessness and exposure to immoral content has done to many. Watch that now. The first consequence has been what? The minds have been corrupted. Taking godly things is very difficult right now. Praying is difficult. When they come to church, though they are sitting in this church, they know they have their men of God and their counselors in five other churches, two of us. In fact, majority of their men of God are where? Say online. Say online. They have their prophets online. Oh yes, online. I'm not saying that following ministers of God is a sin. No way, no, 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 no. I have one mentor who is dead and living, Dr. Miles Monroe. That's been supreme. The rest are only about two or three others. That's all. These are the ones I'm teaching with. Their teachings, they are aligned with what I am envisioning, envisioning and what God has. Beginning with Dr. Miles Monroe. Every teaching of his, I have done a collection of it. That is what it means to submit for instruction. And I verify from scriptures, hear from God, and check what they did, and follow the same patterns. That's the way. Prophecy is wonderful. I'm not calling to the prophetic. They say, my assignment is to teach, but we will give the whole counsel of the Lord. I love prophets. And my desire is that God raise a lot of prophets in this nation. Authentic prophets, not scammers, not hijackers, not bangers, smokers. Not men after women who are not even married and they are after people to get money from their pocket anyhow. A majority of you, when we are done with laboring in the world and you refuse to share with us of your earnings, you will give it to the other or the other. And you know they are very bold. They will ask directly. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, now, say corrupted minds. Because of the corruption in the mind, people only think we will now. They have no problem with dressing instantly. They just tell you that no, that's not man. The scale is not that revealing. Not where I am. Not where I am. <laughs> spiritual laziness and what? Bankruptcy. Say spiritual laziness. They often tell you like they don't feed as to pray. Have you ever heard that? Have you ever heard that? They're not feeding as to pray. They don't really feed anything God. They are not steady in church. They live once and disappear. After four months, they return. They often return with problems. Either they return physically or they call the man of God. I know a few people, each time I start hearing a message like, how have you been? I hope you slept well. Come in. I don't reply, I'm waiting. I know they have a prayer point. Often times when I start, I start with, where have you been? Start from there. Let's see where the problem came in. Praise God. Say submission for instructions. It's an essential part of soul winning. You can't hear everything just from anyone. The minister of God is preaching right here about the essence of this. You go, another one is contradicting what you heard. And God has been planting you in one place. You can't be everywhere at the same time. You keep getting things anywhere, anyhow, and they are so zigzag, so juxtaposed in your mind right now. It's so difficult to really know which one is true. Get back to God. Say repentance. Say realignment. Spiritual laziness among many today is the result of mental corruption. Their souls must be warned. Hallelujah. Next thing, sexual loss and immorality. That's a very common one, and it's very rampant in church. There's no fear of God any longer. They have seen so much online that they have to practice it. <laughs> Can I surprise you with something you don't know? There is this whole notion today as being dressing and looking sexy for Jesus. Have you ever heard that? Can we even imagine it? There is so much zero fear of God. There is no righteousness consciousness. So much. Anyways, maybe not for you right here. The next thing is occultism. They saw it. There are many young boys who are initiated into scamming today. Yes, many are in the occult. They've joined the occult. They have learned it online. I tell you, there are platforms online you can be initiated into witchcraft if you want. Like right now, if you want it. 
books they will recommend for you to go and buy. They will even ship it for you. Even how much the devil's after minds to destroy we will not be joking about soul winning. It's not enough to talk to Jesus about Jesus. It's more important to help people stay in the world and maintain God's standards, irrespective of what's happening. Say financial wastings. Download more things that are immoral. The next thing is that you have to pay for more of it because it's corrupting and it only leads to more corruption. The Bible says it. So you want to watch more of it. Next thing is what? Loss of passion for God and what? Obviously. What else would we expect? Next thing is what? Broken what? Yes, this is a very common one today. Two of us. They saw it. They are not bringing what they saw into the marriage. They belong to the groups that said this is how a man should treat a woman. They had all this, their counselors on Facebook, on YouTube, and they took everything this counselor said and did not see their husbands at home as enemies. I was someone who came to me and told me that I was told by a prophet that my husband is the cause of my problem. I said, you are a liar. Beginning with you and your prophet. In fact, to begin with, you are the cause of your own problem. The way you are even talking to me right here, you are so arrogant and mundane and rude in the way you speak. Your words are not refined. You think a man will tolerate things like that? Think about it. And the halal and women, women are the greatest victims. Women. <laughs> women are the greatest victims of these things. Naturally, God designed you to be emotional and to respond to things easily. That's why many of you come to church also. Loss of jobs and opportunities. I've had someone who lost a major job and really confessed to me what happened. Deception to the social media things. Next thing is ultimately what there will be death. Say death. Death, death, and the physical death, for example, drinking and driving, is celebrated. That's a new normal. By the way, I urge you, you see cars that are moving during the hot sun and day with a lot of vibrating speakers thrown away from the road before you are cleared off. You know what I'm saying, right? Yes, sir. The mystery of becoming what you see, understand this is very important now. The process verse 2 says, you are snared by the words of your lips. You can be trapped by what you say you can be blessed through it. The Bible also makes us understand the soul can be put in prison. Say the soul can be put in prison. Psalms 142 verse 7. Bring my soul out of prison that I may praise your name, O Lord. Bring my soul out of prison. That's soul we here. I'm praying that any soul that has been kept in bondage, believing wrong things, be set free in Jesus' name. Amen. Be set free in the name of Jesus. Amen. So let's conclude with the soul winning right now back to the initial verses we read. God is very much interested in having minds transformed so that they can pursue after his kingdom righteousness and live according to his word. See, the word of God, the word of God is, the is the reference for effective living and relationship at all times. That means as you live from here, be there in discussions with people, whatever is coming after you about your life, before you respond, ask yourself, what does God say about this? That also includes someone who is actually cursing you. Should also curse and attack them and beat. That's what God says about it. Use the word as your reference. Lastly, again, God is so delighted when man repents. We have also seen again that the soul of a man can be imprisoned. So there are many who are physically free, but spiritually they have been enslaved. They have so much going on here. See, see, see. Do not underestimate those who are seen from five from three students today. What they know. For instance, do not look at someone and say, this girl is 12 years old, I mean, what is the, if you know what is on her mind, or in his mind, don't believe it. Today, with this advent of modern day technology, access to the internet on your device, anything is possible. Access to Jangi groups in a split second, anything is possible, beware. Now, we have also established so far that winning soul is a wise thing also. That's what I just did there for you. Did you get something new? Did you get something new? And that those who help others to turn to righteousness will shine like stars forever. It's a wonderful thing to do. What is my charge to you today? This is more like a conclusion in this series. I've not touched everything. Uh, I will pause here because I want to begin official introduction into the kingdom of God message that I've been longing for by next Sunday. Please understand this. You are not hearing this to keep the words here. This is number one for you. The word is for you, first of all. He's hungry, I hear you. The word is first of all for you. Say the word is first of all for me. The word is first of all for me. Live from this place, enjoy. Bend all of you in your spheres of influence. 
make sure that you apply this. Apply it. When you begin to see people act against the word of God who are professing to be Christians, know their minds are under attack. It's your duty to number one, pray for them, that they be delivered from those strongholds by the power of the Holy Spirit. It's the next responsibility to seek opportunities to talk to them and get their souls out of prison. Psalm 142 verse 7, bring out my soul from prison, O Lord, that I may praise you. So you see where people are finding difficult, difficulties in praising God, know that their souls have been what? In prison. And the soul there is a combination of the mind, the willpower, and what? The emotions. And the mind is the most essential part because that's the access way into your spirit. The mind is what is helping you to learn and process information. The mind is a gift. The mind can also become a curse. We need to understand that soul winning is dear to God. And we need salvation from all the social media prisons. Are you seeing that? Many need to be free. Go back home and find out. What information have I been keeping in my mind regarding making money, regarding being married, regarding church, regarding pastors, regarding giving? What were my fears? And repent from all these things. Are you with me? And pursue after the interests of the kingdom. The kingdom of God is always my recommendation for you. From the very beginning, God wants man to have kingdom experience on earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a clap of applause.